Hey guys, even here, and the topic of this video will be Flex Wheeler. More precisely, what he looks like right now in 2021. I did these kind of videos before with Dorian Yates, Kevin Leveroni, Milo Sharchev and the other old school 90s bodybuilders, and now we're gonna deal with Flex Wheeler. To be honest with you guys, I don't really have a full physique update of his, not a recent one, but we have some photos, some videos, so you're gonna get an idea what he looks like right now. What you're watching right here is his version from Arnold Classic 2000. And here he looked amazing, I mean he was bigger, much bigger than he was for example in 1993 where he was much more streamlined. He was bigger here but he was still very conditioned, it was a good look for him. 17 years later, this was him at the Mr. Olympia in classic physique when he made his comeback and he still looked pretty good. He was 51 years old here. And for a 51 year old, he looked amazing, I mean, he was conditioned, he still had a lot of muscle, nothing close to what he was at his prime, of course, but for a 51 year old and somebody who hasn't been competing for over 15 years, he looked good, he looked great. But then things went wrong, unfortunately, two years after this show, he had his leg amputation surgery. No, it wasn't his whole leg, it was from knee below, so he still has the joint and he can still train and walk and everything. I don't know how much pain is he dealing with and how troublesome it is for him right now to function like this, but I think he kind of adjusted quite a bit, because he is in the gym and training right now. And this video is very recent, it is about a month ago. So you can see right here, you can see his arms and the entire mass of his body, and it's not really that bad, and he is doing some, some leg curls, and he's using both of his legs, so he's functioning really well, I mean, I'm surprised, honestly, pleasantly surprised. He's doing some adductors as well, so I gotta say, I'm really happy to see him in the gym training and actually training legs. This is amazing, guys, honestly. But I know what you are most curious about, it's definitely one of the muscles that he was really known for, and that's his arms. Flex was known for having really good arms back in the day. A lot of people think that he used sight enhancement oil to make his arms big like this, you know, simple. And I don't know if he did or he did not, but after retirement, his arms stayed surprisingly big. He lost a lot of size from like his shoulders, his back and some body parts, but his arms just wouldn't go away. And of course, a lot of people assume that it's just the oil that stayed in them for a long time, since the 90s or whatever. I don't know how much sense does that make, but about two years ago, he posted this. And yeah, this was after his leg amputation surgery, so he probably wasn't able to train for a long time. And his arms did melt. I don't know if he's flexing his arms here. Is he flexing the bicep or not? I hope that he's making it look worse than it is. If he's flexing it and it looks like this, then uh, it's it's bad. If he's just relaxed and he's 50, almost 55 today, but that was like 53 here, then it's reasonable. I mean, it's still there is some muscle still there. If not, if it's not flexed, it's not really that bad. But he might be flexing here. This is what his arms look like stretched. So I don't think he was flexing in the previous photo. I think he was just putting the arms in that position because here you can see. When he is relaxed, the arm doesn't look that small, but I think that theory that he had Sintel in his arms or whatever really goes to water, because here you can see when he's not training, his arms do lose a lot of size, he can lose the peak in the biceps and also in the triceps, I mean he still holds a lot of mass in the arms because that was his best body part, but yeah, you can see what, ha what happens when he's not really training hard, so yeah, his arms here looked pretty bad, right, yeah, I hope his arms are better now, but there are some videos and some photos, so take a look at this one, about a month ago, so you can see his arms are part of them, and you can see his torso, basically, you can see what he looks like, you can kind of see his chest a little, his uh, waistline, you can see his shoulder size, forearms and arms, and you can say that he doesn't look as good as he looked in 2017, so after his surgery, his physique definitely deteriorated quite a bit, unfortunately. I mean, it's, it's normal, of course, but he's able to walk, he's able to train and everything. So that's amazing for itself. But if you're talking about Flex Wheeler, one of the best physiques of all time, arguably, and by the opinions of many, the best physique of all time, 
this is what he looks like right now and of course it's not comparable to his uh, prime version but if you guys were interested to see what he looks like right now here is uh, one of the videos one of the photos that i have for you so you can get an idea of what his physique is like uh, in 2021 and you can compare that to his 2017 videos when he was training and prepping for mr olympia classic physique comeback so you can see right here that he had a lot of mass still he wasn't of course as big as he once was but he still packed a lot of muscle and he was conditioned and everything so you gotta say he looked pretty great four years ago but hey despite everything that happened to him he is right now in the gym training maybe preparing for a comeback another one I don't know, maybe he's gonna try to get in shape that he was in in 2017, for example. I think that's pretty achievable, pretty reasonable. Right now, he's not in that shape, but he can get there for sure if he just keeps training hard and doing what he can do. So I'm glad to see him in the gym being active and uh, looking quite happy compared to what he looked like a couple of years ago, actually two years ago when he had that amputation surgery. So whatever you guys think about Flex Wheeler's physique right now in 2021 or 2020, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best guys and bye bye.